Just like Pokemon YouTube? Welcome, one and all. To, welcome to the wonderful world of Pokemon. What the hell is that? That dude has got like a, a spoon on his nose. And for those of us who choose to raise and train Pokemon to do battle and compete, we call Pokemon Trainers. Oh, but I'm getting carried away. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rose, and it is a pleasure to be here. A man named Rose. I'm not one to judge, but I don't think I've ever met a man named Rose. But okay. Now turn your gaze to the Galar region's greatest Pokemon trainer, your undefeated champion. It's time for champion L Leon? Leon? Oh. What a pretentious prick this guy is. Oh, and he's got a Charizard. Wow, so cool, so original. Oh, he strikes a pose for the crowd, and the crowd goes wild. Oh, Charizard's Dynamaxing. Oh, shit. Woo. That's a, that's a big boy. All right, Char Lizard. Pokemon Sword. Oh, look, it's a little, it's a little, it's, it's the, uh, the not Mareep. Oh, look at me, my lazy ass sitting on the bed playing. What is that? Is that a Switch Mini? No, that's just a, like a smartphone. I'm ashamed that there was not any shameless product placement there of like the Nintendo Switch. I'm sure if we look around, we'll find one. Don't worry. Hello? Hello? Don't you like wait for someone to answer the door? You're just going to walk the hell in and just be like, hey. What if I was sitting on the couch beating off right now? You just walk in on... You don't want to walk in on that. Is that your your flash new... Flash new phone? What the hell kind of sentence structure is that? Were you watching Lee's exhibi exhibition match on it? But you can't cheer him on with your hands full. Wink, wink. See, I told you I was beating off. Now I've got to run. See you at mine later. Do they just, like, give up on the translations in this game? Do they have a dog, or is this Munchlax bed? That's a tiny-ass bed. Especially when this dude evolves into a Snorlax. This shit ain't gonna fit him. Don't, don't Munchlax evolve with friendship? We must abuse this poor bastard for him to not have evolved yet. Damn. The latest video game, video game console is sitting by the telly. <sighs> They're really just hammering home this Brit Britain stuff. Brand new telly. You oh. Wow, what a mother. She bought me this brand new television just so I could play my Switch. But they don't want to say it's a Switch. They just want to call it the new video game console. Grab my dad's? Oh, it's my dad's old bag. It's not my bag. So my mom can afford to buy me a brand new flat screen big ass TV, but she can't afford me to buy me my own backpack. Ha ha ha, have a look at you, Ethan. That old bag looks like it could pull you over. At least you know that it should hold anything Lee might bring, even if it's as big as a Snorlax. Um, no. I've seen a Snorlax. They're they're pretty big, and they weigh, like, a thousand pounds. I don't think I could carry that on my back, so. Dude. What the hell are you doing? See what you're up to? Dude? He doesn't look like he's using tackle. It looks like he's doing rollout. I played Smash Bros. I don't know what rollout looks like. Now you listen. No going past that fence. No. Everyone knows there are scary Pokemon living in the slumbering well. Weald? Weld? I don't know what that word is. N no moo. Okay. Game Freak? Sheep don't say moo. Well, this breaks all rules of Pokemon. This caption right here. Hey, yeah, Ethan. I was... Hop was looking for you, you know. But no need to go to the next town to find him when he lives right next door, right? Tell me what... Oh. Damn. We're just gonna barge into his house. What if he's sitting on the couch beating off like I was earlier? He's still not here yet. He's probably only arrived at the station in Wedgehurst. That man's got a Charizard. Why Why does he need a train station? Why don't he just fly around on a Charizard like sensible people? Which one's Leon's room? Um. I mean, I, I would guess this one. Oh, yeah, because he's... Because he's pretentious, got a picture of himself above his bed. Unless this is Hop's room, in which case that would be even creepier that he's got a picture of his brother right above his bed. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave. Are we just... 
So, are you just gonna wait here for me to get there? Okay, see you later, Hop. I guess I'm just going to the the, the station. Are you coming along or, or what here? Nope, you're just gonna stand there. Okay. Now you aren't here to stop me from going to this talk. <sighs> there he is. What? This dude is so... Oh my god. What a prick. He's got a fucking cape. He's wearing a cape. Oh, hello, hello, Wedgehurst. Your champion Leon is back. I, this is the most unlikable champion probably in Pokemon history. I've known him for all of five minutes, and I fucking hate him. What is this dude in the background just patting his stomach just like, Man, I had a, I had a big lunch before coming over to this, this train station. Oh, but man, I just couldn't. I couldn't resist the urge to come see Lee, Leon, the pretentious asshole who is our champion of the region. Oh, oh I'm going to take a massive shit later. Ugh. My wish is for Galar's trainers to work together and become the strongest in all the world. Grar. So my number one fan in all the world has come out of his way to pick me up. I mean, it's literally like a hundred yards behind us. It's not... It's not that far of a walk. I don't know why you need it picked up. Especially when you got that Charizard. You know, you could ride around on his back and not be such a lazy piece of shit. But that's just me. What the hell is all that shit on the back of your cape? Well, everyone, I bid you farewell for today. But don't you fret. I'll always be around to make sure everyone in Galar can have a champion time. <sighs> Come on, Lee. You promised us a present, so out with it. You brought me and Ethan Pokemon. You did, didn't you? You, I know you must have. Right then, the greatest gift from the greatest champion. It's showtime, everyone. Take a good look, you two. Oh shit, it's Grookey, the grass-type Pokemon. The fire-type Pokemon, Scorbunny. And the water-type Pokemon, Sobble. Look at these. Look at these, look at these, these guys. They're so happy. And Scorbunny's just gonna chill out and set the ground on fire. It's a fire hazard, dude. You know, Grookey's cry actually sounds a little bit like he's saying his name. Wow. Aww, you made Sobble cry. Aww, Grookey. And Scorbunny, you're an asshole. All right, everyone, line up. Which will you choose? Uh, I already know who I'm going to choose. I'm going to pick. I'm, go I'm going. Um, why do we need a loading screen? Go on, you pick first. I already got my Wulu. Yeah, that's going to save you. I've already picked the starter I'm going to have, and I'm going to go with... S Sobble. <laughs> Damn, that was not as smooth as I wanted it to be. I'm gonna call him Crybaby. <laughs> you spent the whole night with that new partner of yours, right, Hop? You two getting on all right? Understanding one another? I stuck my Sobble in the garage. I let him sleep in there for the night. Lee, he probably set the damn bed on fire. You picked Score Bunny. You saw how he was setting shit on fire walking around the, the concrete basketball court or battle court or whatever if you trust in one another and carry on battling side by side long enough then someday you might even become worthy rivals for me the unbeatable champion god i want to punch him in the damn face if you think ethan might be able to challenge you then i guess he's my first rival what do you say willing and ready to take hop on for the first ever pokemon battle of your life nah i'm good how about I give you a spot of advice? You don't want to be getting so caught up in things that you forget everything you've accomplished till now. Take a moment to jot down what you've done in order to save a record of your progress. <sighs> you are challenged by Pokemon Trainer Hop. Well, this game is stupid easy.